All right, so this is an example of a perimeter problem that we often see in algebra. Let's read the problem. The perimeter of a rectangular field is surrounded by 90 meters of fencing. If the field is partitioned into two parts, as shown, a total of 100 meters, 101 meters of fencing is required. Find the dimensions of the field. Okay, so there are sort of two parts to the problem. The first is that you've got this rectangular field, so let's just draw in the field here. So this is our rectangular field, and we're looking for the dimensions. Let's call the length, call it x, and then call the width, that is the shorter side, call it y. And we're um, from the first part of the problem, we see that um, it's the rectangular field is surrounded by 90, 90 meters of fencing. So if you go all the way around, right, that the perimeter of this rectangle is 2x plus 2y equals 90. We need 90 meters of fencing to completely go around this rectangular field. Now the second part says that the field is partitioned into two parts as shown in the diagram. So if we put in that extra partition in the middle, now the field looks like this. Okay. Now it still is true that this all the way across is the length x. That hasn't changed. And this is still the length y. But all that's happened is that we've added another piece here in the middle. But notice that that piece in the middle is also the same length as the pieces on the outside. Now, if you create the second scenario, you're going to obviously need more fencing because you have that middle strip. So how much are you going to need? Well, you're still going to need 2x plus 2y, but then you're going to need another y in the middle. So you're going to need 2x plus 3y. And the sum of those amounts brings you to 101 feet of fencing. So this is the system that you, the, um, taking these two equations together, that's the system you've got to solve for x and y. So let's do it. We've got 2x plus 2y equals 90. And then also with, um, let me redraw that, and 2x plus 3y equals 101. Okay, so how about I multiply that top equation by negative 1? And the reason I'm doing this is because I can eliminate x when I add these equations together. And I'm going to get a new system. When I Let me just write the new system here, actually. It's going to be, the first equation is going to be negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 90. And the bottom equation is 2x plus 3y equals 101. And I, when I add them together, I get, well, the x's cancel, and I get just y is equal to it's going to be 11. So that gives me my y right away. Now, y, of course, is this shorter side here. So y is 11. Now, if you want to find x, you plug that y back into one of the equations. So how about I plug that y back into that equation right there to get x? So I have 2x plus 2y equals 90. So if I plug in that y, 2x plus 2 times 11 equals 90. And that gives me 2x plus 22 equals 90. So 2x is equal to, let's see, 90 take away 22 is 68. So x is equal to 34. Okay, so we'd say that the, the length of the field is 34, what was it, meters or feet? I can't remember. Uh, meters. So length is 34 meters. And the width, that was going to be uh, 11 meters. Okay, so our, our rectangular field is going to be 34 by 11. Okay, and that would be our answer.